प्लीज टेल मी इफ दिस इज अ वॉल एंड दिस इज अ रॉड थिन रॉड दिस इज अ वॉल एंड अ ग्राउंड द वॉल इज फ्रिक्शन लेस द ग्राउंड इज फ्रिक्शन लेस प्लीज टेल मी Will the rod remain like this or will it start sliding? Start sliding. Because there is no friction here, there is no friction here. It will start sliding. I have another interesting question. Can you tell me one normal to the wall is this, and another normal perpendicular to the rod seems to be this. So the normal force will act in direction one or direction two. See, normal to the wall seems to be perpendicular to the wall is one. and perpendicular to the rod seems to be direction 2 now when we say normal reaction normal reaction has to be normal to both so which is that direction in which the normal reaction will act and why yes yes very good i will explain suppose we decide to go for a film all of us now when we decide to go for the film Mr Gupta says okay if i am given 20 chocolates then only i'll go for the film otherwise i will not all others are uh, uh, agreeing uh, flexible but he is rigid he says okay i will go only if i get 20 chocolates and suppose we all go for a film what does that mean he got 20 chocolates now in the case we when we say normal reaction the normal reaction has to be normal to both the surfaces which are in contact now this rod and this wall both are in contact now the wall says ke i have only one direction which is perpendicular to me which is this the wall is not giving any option the wall is saying i have only one direction agar normal lagna hai to isi direction mein lagega warna i am with you are you clear so the wall is giving only one option for the normal direction whereas the rod is having a point in contact and the point can have infinite direction so this point of the rod will adjust itself and the normal reaction will be acting in this direction have you understood this so if ever you have confusion about normal reaction please understand find out one surface for which there is only one possibility ke only this can be the normal direction the other surface will automatically adjust are you clear no so we know that the normal reaction here will be in this direction and the normal reaction here will be in this direction n2 and let's call it n1 now one more thing do i if if i have to stop this uh, rod from sliding suppose the length of the rod is l mass of the rod is m and this angle is say theta all this is given m l theta is given these three things and uh, how do i stop it from falling how do i stop it i need to apply some force so let that force be unknown and let that force be applied here on the rod at the bottom point i am assuming the rod to be very thin huh? you can remember that yes very thin rod and now i am applying a force in this direction horizontal direction at the lower most point find this force minimum force that i need to apply so that the rod doesn't fall down please try to do this question how much force should i apply horizontally at the lower end of the rod so that the rod doesn't fall down slide down whatever you call it uh, if it does, it is not sliding is it rotational equilibrium yes or no Yes, if it is rotational equilibrium net force is zero and net torque is zero right so you have to find n1 n2 also and you have to find the force also three questions are there. n1 n2 and force all the three things you have to find let's let's check it all of you please pay attention please pay attention please see this If I make a free body diagram and I mark all the forces, center of mass pe mg is acting. Now, what are the forces? I I am going to encircle all the forces which are acting on the rod and make a free body diagram of the rod. I will try to save energy, so I just remove the wall. This is the free body diagram of the rod. This is the free body diagram. Am I right? 
and these are the forces i am just going to encircle those forces 1 2 3 and 4 these are the four forces acting on the rod do you see this now please pay attention instead of writing it down pay attention and understand how am i doing it i'll give you time to write it down please see if it is in equilibrium net force in horizontal direction has to be net force in vertical direction has to be zero and there will be an additional term now we know what is that net torque so for equilibrium you have net force zero and for equilibrium you also have net torque zero body should not translate or body should not rotate both should be true so net force is zero so in horizontal direction net force is zero what are the horizontal forces tell me this and this are the only horizontal forces so uh, let me assume right to be positive so n1 minus f is equal to zero correct vertical direction mein net force there are two one and two mg downward positive minus n2 is equal to zero this is also correct how many of you had written these two equations honestly okay now let's write the third equation also please see this pay attention i want to this is the most important equation which you earlier didn't know about which is the torque equation let's find out the torque about any point should i choose center of mass should i choose this point or this point tell me this point will have an advantage that it will eliminate two unknowns at a time because the torque due to these two forces will be zero about this point so it will automatically give me only one unknown and immediately i'll know the value of that the moment i know the value of that uh, that i'll get f i'll get n2 n2 already i have got what is n2 equal to and n1 will be equal to f but f and n1 both are unknown so let me find torque about this point have you understood the choice of this point was made on some merit what was that merit it eliminates two unknowns the torque due to this is zero the torque due to this is zero are you clear so my equation becomes simpler easier to solve torque due to this force and torque due to this force everyone has to be very alert i want to know about this point and mg is this force can anyone tell me how do i find torque about this point of this mg force i drop a perpendicular from this point on the line of force this is the perpendicular right can anyone tell me how much is this distance this is l by 2 and this is theta l by 2 sin theta this distance is l by 2 sin theta and this torque will be anti clockwise or clockwise because mg is downward so this force will try to turn it this way yes so the force is anti clockwise so anti clockwise minus anti clockwise positive mg into l by 2 sin theta correct anti clockwise positive remember this now please tell me the torque due to this this is the force will be clockwise or anti clockwise just answer that clockwise it will be clockwise and can anyone tell me what will be the perpendicular distance from this point on this line this is theta this is l l sin theta perfect so minus n1 into should be equal to 0 perfect so l sin theta gets cancelled n1 is equal to mg by 2 if i put this value here i get f is equal to n1 which means f is equal to this f mg by 2 and if i so i have got this i have got this i have got this how many of you got this these answers on your own earlier see can you please solve it using mg as the reference point yeah yeah any point you will get another equation doesn't matter but i that's a very trivial thing please understand if you are so keen i'll do that see this i'll write the torque equation about this point all of you please understand and be involved in the exercise don't take things lightly 
we have decided to choose the net torque about this point. Now I have got this force, this force and this force. I have got three forces. I have to find the torque and four forces in fact. What is the torque of Mg about this point? Yes. The last bench. Very good. Varun. Tell me what is the torque of Mg about this point? Zero. Because it is passing through this. Right. Now, please tell me what is the torque of this N1 force about this point? How do I find that? Drop a perpendicular. This is L by 2, this is theta. So L by 2 cos theta. L by 2 cos theta is right. This distance is the perpendicular distance from the force. So this distance is L by 2 cos theta. So N1 n1 into l by 2 cos theta will it be clockwise or anti clockwise 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 okay so plus suppose i decide clockwise now the torque due to n2 n2 is this force how do i find about this point drop a drop a perpendicular here and what is this perpendicular distance so I will write, is it clockwise or anti-clockwise? Anti-clockwise. We have chosen clockwise to be positive, so anti-clockwise will be? Negative. Minus N2 into? Are you getting this? Now, force F. Please tell me, how do I find the torque due to force F? Force F, the line of action is this. If I draw a perpendicular from this point on force F, what is this distance? L by 2? So, the torque due to force F will be, is it clockwise or anti-clockwise? We have chosen clockwise to be positive. So, F, you can see this. This point, this force is having a, a turning effect towards clockwise. Uh, so, F into L by 2 cos theta. And the net torque should be equal to? Zero. Have you understood this? Now, if you solve this, you are having two unknowns in one equation. So, not a problem at all. Our aim is to find F. Let me substitute N1 is equal to F. So, N1 can be substituted as F. And let me substitute N2 as Mg. N2 can be submitted as. So, now from here, I will be able to get F. I will take out F common. Am I right? What will I get? Tell me. F will come out to be common. It will be FL cos theta is equal to mg L by 2 sin theta. I think there is some mistake we have made. Let's just have a look. Perpendicular distance of N1 cos N2. N2 is this force. This distance is how much? Sir, calculating the first time, sir, force is not equal to mg by 2. So, theta, when you take the force, theta. Sir, it would be fl by 2 sin theta. Sir, it will be fl by 2 sin theta. Sir, it will be fl by 2 sin theta. Sir, it will be fl by 2 sin theta. Angle, sir, when you take the first time, calculate the force, sir, it is not equal to mg by 2. Sir, now it is coming out correctly. Last time, last time. Sir, we have taken l sin theta there. Sir, it will be fl by 2 sin theta. Sir, it will be fl by 2 sin theta. अच्छा अच्छा तो वो जो उससे पहली क्वेश्चन है ना उसमें हमने एक गलती कर दी आई टेल यू व्हाट वाज द मिस्टेक ओके सो दिस इज द करेक्ट इक्वेशन एंड सो नो चॉकलेट क्वेश्चन टू एनीवन बिकॉज़ यू वर गिविंग गिविंग मी अ रॉन्ग आंसर सो एक्चुअली एफ इज इक्वल टू वी हैव डन अ मिस्टेक वेयर इंस्टेड ऑफ टेकिंग एल sin थीटा वी टुक एल cos थीटा आई मीन इंस्टेड ऑफ cos थीटा वी टुक sin थीटा सो दे गॉट कैंसिल्ड एंड वी गॉट mg by 2 but that is not the right answer actually I, I, that is why i was surprised when someone told me uh, it is independent of theta and you people uh, condition more my mind also by telling me wrong equations in the previous solution so now we'll go back to the previous solution uh, now so here we get f is equal to mg tan theta by 2 this is the correct answer please write it down 